Hey everyone, welcome back to the month of November's industrial market update. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for you guys that have been following with us through the second half of this year and so much to me and I hope you guys have learned and taken something out of it. So to jump right in, we see that 9442 Northwest 109th Street in Medley just got traded for $6 million. It's approximately a 7,000 square foot building on a two acre lot. The buyer here was a construction company. And so this was a great acquisition because we're looking at this on whether if the buyer was a user or if the buyer was an investor. Six million bucks, you're looking at leasing that land out for at least $450 a square foot modified gross. And you're looking at leasing that building for on the low end, 22 bucks a square foot modified gross. So, you know, on both sides of the game, you're looking at a, at a good deal by this buyer, which is the best, great, great acquisition. Going to, you know, how the leasing side is going. I'm gonna talk based off experience about what happened this month. We've been representing this landlord a couple months now, and it's a 5,000 square foot building in ICP, three dog high doors, 300 square foot of office. Um, so initially we were asking $25 modified gross. And a few months went by, probably a month and a half, we got an offer for $23 modified gross and the landlord accepted it. And somehow it fell through. Then we put it back on the market, waited a couple of months. We lowered the price to $24 per square foot modified gross. And we got an offer for $21.50. You know, the landlord is you know sitting there evaluating his options. You know, it's a solid tenant, three year term. 4% increases after the first year, you know, he takes it, we wrapped it up. And so that being said, the private smaller landlords are wanting to occupy their space rather than sitting and asking for more. And so we're seeing that the private landlords are more to negotiate with. In some cases, obviously I'm not saying about in every case that this is, um, you know, what's ideal and what has to happen in every situation, which is not true at all. But, you know, these landlords tend to be more flexible on their on the rate than the institutional landlords, which tend to be uh, more tied down uh, to the rate. And, you know, maybe after a few months of being there, they might you know, be a bit flexible depending on the terms. But that's what we're seeing. And when I see that off based off experience and what, you know, based off what I've seen in the market. And so on the sales side, we're seeing, you know, the sales volume um, kind of come down a bit. You know, not too many transactions are happening at this moment, but you know, there's always those sales coming in. It may be because of the election coming up that might provide some uncertainty for these sellers, you know, kind of fearful of what's gonna happen or maybe what isn't gonna happen. Interest rates, the cost of debt, you know, all the different little factors. These buyers tend to offer with owner financing nowadays just because going to a bank, interest rates gonna be crazy high. And so doing uh, owner financing with uh, less of a higher rate is a more doable deal and better for the landlord if doing an interest only deal for the first few years of, of the purchase. And so even though we're not seeing too many sales, you know, there's still activity happening, a lot of activity on the tenant side. And believe it or not, a lot of people say at the holidays it slows down and, you know, we haven't really seen that much of a slowdown over here. Um, as far as, you know, tenants are always needing a place to move, you know, for the new years. Uh, you know, need to um, expand because they're getting too much merchandise coming in and they don't have enough space. And so, you know, we're grateful enough that, you know, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of activity going on in the market as we speak. And so I wanted to cut it short. That's what we have gone doing on for the month of November. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys for December's market update. And by the time that's done, it will be 2024. So I wish you guys a great and happy new year. And God bless you guys. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye.